Install QuickBooks Pro, QuickBooks Pro Plus, QuickBooks Desktop 2021 to the desktop to the computer. Let's get into it with Intuit's QuickBooks Pro Desktop 2021. Here we are on the desktop. This is an icon that we installed in a prior presentation when we went onto the Intuit website, the owner of QuickBooks, and downloaded the QuickBooks desktop software. So now we have the installation software on the computer. If you want to go through that purchasing process and the process to get this icon on the computer, take a look at a prior presentation. Now realize that this icon is not actually the icon we will use when we run QuickBooks. This is going to be the icon in order to go through the installation process. Just to get an idea of what we think will happen in the future, we're going to run this, this program. This will then give us an icon and install the program on the computer which will also give us an icon to open the program. Once we open the program, we will then start a company file and the company file for the desktop version will work in a similar fashion as you might think of like Microsoft Word or Microsoft Office products like Microsoft Excel where you have the program on the computer or at least you're used to have the program on the actual computer and then you have the actual documents that are going to be Word documents as well. Similar, similar kind of idea here. We're going to set this up. This will give us the icon on the computer, the program. Then we'll set up the company file, which is typically the main file that we will be using if we only have one company file. And then we might also have backup files that we will be using uh, as well. So let's double click on this and run through this. Here is the installation wizard. So it says, welcome to install Shield Wizard for QuickBooks Financial Software Pro Plus Series 2021 R1. The install Shield Wizard will help install QuickBooks uh, Final Software Pro Plus Series 2021 R1 on your computer uh, to continue click next. So let's go ahead and click next here. Now this process can take some time. QuickBooks is a fairly large program. After some time, we get to this screen which says, Welcome to QuickBooks. Complete your QuickBooks installation with just a few steps. For smooth installation, it is a good idea to close any open programs, especially virus protection programs, once the installer is loaded, except the license agreement to continue. So if you have any virus protection programs, it could uh, interrupt the installation process, as is the case with many kind of installation processes. So if you have a problem with the installation process, it might be the fact that you have other programs open, including the uh including the vi the antivirus program i'm actually going to try to continue here uh without without closing everything so i can see the process as we go uh if i have a problem with it then i'll uninstall the whole thing and then reinstall it so i'm going to go ahead and accept and continue now it wants the license and product numbers now if you haven't remember when we installed we made a big deal about saving the license and product number into a word document you should also get an email so if you buy this online from intuit you will have these numbers they will be provided to you by email and you will have seen them when you went through the installation or the downloading process or the purchasing process if you have a question about them you may be able to go onto the intuit website and find them again if you purchase this like in a box uh, you bought a box at a store or something like that then it should be on the box uh, as well so you should be able to find these on like the back of the little cd that you might be in installing or or on the actual inside of the box so i'm going to put these in place and then move forward then we have the choose your installation type the express this is the recommended replace the current version using existing settings and copy preferences or you have a custom network option customized location upgrade and advanced service options now most people will, will want this item and if you have a prior software then it's going to replace it however i would like to have my prior software on the book so that i can i can see the prior software and than the current software so i'm going to actually move over to the to the custom and network options so that i can do that so that i can then open the prior software uh 2000 i have 2019 all the way back to 2018 i think on the machine which does take up a good deal of space but i like to be able to see those items uh, if you don't have any other quickbooks software on there then obviously the express would be fine to use and you won't have to worry about replacing anything so i'm going to say next so here are custom network settings, which again, you will not have if you go through the express settings. So I'll be using QuickBooks Desktop on this computer, or I'll be using QuickBooks Desktop on this computer, and I'll be storing our company file here so I can be shared on the network, or I will not be using QuickBooks on this computer. I'm gonna keep the default as the first item. And then the next question we have is gonna be, 
uh, upgrade or change the installation location. This is the default installation location. Very useful <laughs> to know where you know the installation location is as well as when you're, where your company file will be, which we'll talk at a prior time. So we can choose the installation location, which is here. This is going to be the default that will be set up. That's fine for me. If you want some other place, you can go to the browser. Replace the version select selected below with the version I'm installing now. So I have the version below 2019. It's saying, do you want to replace that? It'll save space on the computer but again i would rather have both of the softwares on the system and therefore no i'm not going to replace it i'm just going to keep the location up top and say next and so there we have it so then it has uh, the license and uh, location and i'm going to say okay go ahead and install so we're going to go through the installation process here we are installing once again the installation process can take some time it's a fairly large program so but installing here's going to be the install bar the status bar as we go then it says installation is complete so we can open quickbooks from here so i'm going to say all right go ahead and open up quickbooks please so here's the actual quickbooks program we got quickbooks desktop pro plus uh 2021 this is pro plus the pro will be quite similar uh so here we go so then it says activate quickbooks desktop now activate quickbooks desktop now to continue using quickbooks desktop without uh disruption and receive product updates as they become available so you can go to learn more i'm just going to go ahead and say yeah go ahead and activate it please so we're going to activate this process then we got the register of the quickbooks confirmation your activation is now complete you got the confirmation with your number up top how did we do you could you can use this for the rating and then you can print in uh, in quickbooks here so i'm going to say okay let's go ahead and close this back out and we have then how quickbooks desktop uses your uh, internet connection so notice you're on the desktop this is actually on your computer now but it does have the internet connections because you need to have the updates quickbooks wants to make it more kind of like online in that they are able to make the updates uh, as we go and there obviously the internet is going to be something that will be required to do so, to do so so about quickbooks desktop and your internet connection we provide a a feature called automatic update which is turned on by default so by default you're going to have these automatic updates meaning you kind of like quickbooks is going to be talking you know to into it over the internet when you have access to the internet in order to get the updates so update ensures that uh, you've got the latest quickbooks updates and improvements what are my options leaving automatic update on means that you agree to receive product updates from from us automatically via your internet so if you leave the default on it's on by default then you'll get that automatically if you want to turn it off like if you want to save some space and, and not have this thing you know running in the background then you can search for updates just periodically uh, when you think you want to do that so if you want to learn more or turn off the feature go to help menu and click update quickbooks desktop what happens when quickbooks desktop needs to access the internet quickbooks is web enabled some features require internet access and will open in a browser window if quickbooks can't find a connection it may ask you to establish one so that's going to be the process for details on how intuit uh, respects your privacy you can go to this link here so we're going to say all right we'll keep the default setting this is the normal screen that you'll basically have when you open uh, QuickBooks 2021 if you're not opening directly to a company file. Now, these are going to be the last files that we had open. Uh, if you if you this is the first time you've opened any QuickBooks file, then you will have no files here because we haven't set up any files. Now, note the next step will be to set up files or to open a file that you have had in the past. We'll talk about that in future presentations. But just realize that this is basically the program that you would open so we can open the program itself kind of like open up word itself and then microsoft word for example and then we have to set up the company file we'll set up a company file which will basically be another file if you already are working in a company file then you you might have it here which you can go into and you can open up that company file and quickbooks will then ask you to update that company file from the prior version you were working in into the current version so and after you do that you should be good to go as as you go as you go going forward if you're only working on one company file you will always be opening up quickbooks and it'll go directly to that one company file so you will start to feel like the quickbooks software itself is kind of like the same thing as the company file as opposed to when you use word documents you're always opening different word documents so you have a more of a disassociation between you know the the computer program itself and the actual documents that the program is being used uh, to open if you're an accountant 
then you will be working with multiple files and it becomes you know more like a word document you're opening many different files with the program itself so i'm going to minimize this here and just note here's the icon now so here's going to be quickbooks plus plus uh, pro plus it'll be similar if you have quickbooks pro or any other kind of desktop version most people when they open up the software will double click on the actual uh, software itself instead of the data file which is different than when you're using Microsoft uh, Word where you typically double click on the actual Word document instead of the program. In QuickBooks you will typically open QuickBooks which will then link to the data file and usually if you work in only one company file it'll always go to that same company file. But it's useful to note that it is going to a company file because you want to know where that company file is and you want to have a backup for that company file considering that's your major company file. So we'll start to work on that next time. We will open up the, or in the future, we'll open up the QuickBooks program and we'll discuss then creating a company file. And at some point we'll discuss creating a company file. And then you want to know where that company file will be. So we have now the installation icon, which you can basically delete at this point. We have then the program here. Then we're going to have the company file which you, you may not always know where it is, but you want to know where it is, but you want to know where it is, right? You want to know where it is, even though you're going to open it with the software. And then we'll have another file, which will be data backup files, which once again, you're not going to open too often, but you want to make sure that you know where they are in the event that you need uh, to open those files. So we'll go into some of those topics in future presentations.